Welcome to Pro Stitcher Catalog Tutorials. I'm Kim Sandberg and with me is Christina Whitney. We're going to walk you through the steps of how to install and register catalog. So to start with, you need to purchase it. And there's going to be a couple of different ways to do that. You can either visit ProStitcher.com or once you run the update, there's an update that has come out, there will be the ability to purchase it through Designer. So the update is a designer update? It's in a designer okay. update and it includes the link to be able to Excellent. purchase it or you can go to ProStitcher.com and download it that way. So Christina has went to ProStitcher.com. She has received an email which had her serial number and the links to download and she has already went ahead and downloaded the, the update onto her computer and it's now in her downloads folder, yep. correct? Correct. Okay, so let's take a look at her screen and we'll walk through the steps here of how to install. So on Christina's screen here, she's got that update. It says PSD and I believe it's 1539. Correct. Is that correct? Uh -huh. So it's going to be version 1539 or higher. Christina's going to do a double click on this and it's going to launch here in a second. And the computer's going to ask her, hey, do you want to do this? And the answer is yes, we want to install this. So she'll click on yes. And we'll have the install wizard come up. It'll take a minute to prepare. And she'll just follow the prompts here. She'll click on next. Then she needs to accept. So you'll notice she's just going to click right there to accept the license agreement. And then she'll click on next. We just follow the instructions here. She's going to click on install and it's going to go ahead and run the install. This could take a few minutes, so just sit back and think about that next quilting project you want to work on. Well, Christina, it looks like your installation is complete, so go ahead and click on Finish. Can I just say that I love having you tell me every single step that I need to do because I am very technologically challenged. <laughs> I am so happy to help. I am so happy to help. Okay. Now, on your screen, go ahead and minimize this your uh, downloads folder and you're going to have a new icon on there that says PS Studio. I see it on the top left there. So Designer has now become ProStitcher Studio. So go ahead and double click on that to launch it. And Christina, why don't you just go ahead and click on uh, create a design and we'll just open up that. That looks great. Now, yep, just go ahead and maximize that. Now, you're going to notice down in the bottom right corner, we've actually got a new tab and a new view in that window pane. Do you see some stuff there you haven't seen before? Yeah, it looks a little bit different right down here. It new does. icons and Pro Stitcher catalog. Exactly. And you'll notice down at the very bottom, the tabs that have been there, we have our sequence view, um, designs, effects, navigator, and there's a new tab there. And that one is actually called purchases. And this is where, if you are purchasing the design from Pro Stitcher Designer, this is where you can do it. So, as you mentioned, we have our two options here. And under Pro Stitcher Designer, you notice that you've got a little checkbox there, mm -hmm. which shows that that's been loaded and activated on your device. Okay. We need to do the same thing with catalogs. So, I want you to go over to that little box on the very right-hand side, yep, and just click on that. And let's look at the options we have there. So if you're interested in purchasing, you can click on the buy now, but we've already done that. Christina's ready to activate, so she's just going to click on activate, and then she's going to have a registration screen pop up. And she just needs to fill in all of the um, items that have asterisks by them. And be sure and include that designer serial number that came with the email that you received. Is it case sensitive? It is case sensitive, so make sure that you have your caps lock on and you include the dashes as you're filling it out. I'm going to have to blur those out. Yep. Yeah, or right now, go ahead and... So it says I need an activation code. You don't actually need an activation code because the device you're using is connected to the internet. If you'll notice, actually, it says register now down there in the bottom right hand corner, which means you're ready to go ahead and click on it and have your a catalog be registered. So go ahead, click okay. register now. I'm doing it. Yay, success. Please restart. Now this is really important. Click OK, and then I want you to go to the top left corner, choose file, 
And from the drop down menu down there at the bottom, click on exit. We need to shut down designer slash catalog to be able to relaunch it and have all the features be available. Okay. So you've done that. Go ahead and click on the PS Studio icon and you'll be ready to start searching for your digital designs.